President Uhuru Kenyatta confirmed the news of former First Lady Lucy Kibaki's death, sending a message of condolence to former President Mwai Kibaki and his family. The news of her death coming at a time when Lucy had disappeared from the public eye. Her last public appearance was during the promulgation of the constitution in 2010. It was reported that she had suffered ill health through the years and had been hospitalized several times, both at home and abroad. She passed away at the Bupa Cromwell Hospital in London where she was undergoing treatment early Tuesday morning. Lucy Kibaki will be remembered for redefining the role of the first lady in the country and giving the first lady's office clout. In 2009, she famously tackled the then Internal Security Minister, George Saitoti, after the Sachangwan fire, which saw over 100 people lose their lives, accusing him of negligence and insensitivity, and saying the area around the oil tanker that burst into flames should have been secured to prevent further loss of life. We have had a few, not a few, many incidents like those. Just this entry this year, we had one on Fika Road, a petrol tank, rose, one anti rush there to get petrol. And another one, just before Christmas. These things happen and they are ignored by the people in charge. I say here they do ignore. Why? Because they do nothing about it. During Kibaki's term as president, Lucy focused on tackling HIV and AIDS, focusing on women and children. At the time of her death, Lucy was 75 years old. She lives behind four children. The Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital in Nairobi is part of the former First Lady's legacy. Wilkie Sanyabwa, Citizen Live at One.